Woo, I'm excited for this one. Oh man, I have been waiting to get back into more of the old classics for a long time. So today you might be actually wondering, huh, movies in depth, why are you wearing a Christmas shirt polo thing in the middle of August? Well, I would tell you that actually this is my comfort shirt. Christmas time is my favorite time of year, which leads me into what movie we're trying to watch today, and that is a comfort movie. So from here on out, anytime that I'm watching a comfort movie that I've not seen before, but I know it's like a rom-com or just a comedy or something that's just gonna make your heart feel good, then I'm gonna wear something comfortable, something for me. I don't care about the stereotypes, you guys shouldn't either. But I'm excited, today we're gonna be checking out 10 Things I Hate About You. I have never seen this before. Heath Ledger is one of my absolute favorite actors, so I'm really excited to see what he brings to this. Still very sad to this day that we don't have him around anymore, but I love his work and I can't wait to find out about this movie. I've heard it's an absolute classic. My wife is jealous that I'm watching it, so hope you guys are ready, strap in. But before we get into it, if you guys could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button, I would truly, truly appreciate it. Also, follow me at the two social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times, memes, pictures, what's not to like. Check me out at patreon.com slash movies in depth for the full uncut length reaction to this and all other movies and TV shows covered on the channel as well. And let's just get right into this. That logo makes me think of uh, Don't Toy With Me, Nagatoro. Any anime weebs out there, you know. I can already tell this soundtrack's gonna be an absolute bop. I didn't know Joseph Gordon-Levitt's in this. He's another one of my favorite actors. Okay, come on, give me that soundtrack. Oh, I'm gonna like her. This type of music is my absolute favorite. At least recycle. Oh, look at him, he is such a cutie pie. What in the holy hell is she typing? Was that, what? Wait, hold up. What is her name? Allison Janney? Who's not in this movie? So you tell me that Allison Janney is kinky? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Am I in the right office? Not anymore, you're not. I've got deviants to see and a novel to finish. Now scoot. Okay, I like her. Battle all the dream boats. Here we go. It says here you exposed yourself in the cafeteria. Joking with the lunch lady. It was a bratwurst. Damn it, I was about to say, I was trying to show her my sausage. Aren't we the optimist? Oh. <laughs> Alice and Janie. Okay, can we be best friends? She is very kinky. <laughs> hey, Michael, where should I put the slides? Michael. Who the hell is Michael? I'm a 30 year old trying to be a high schooler. Cowboys? Yeah, but the, the closest they've come to a cow is McDonald's. Why in the world would you ever want to try to be redneck if you're not around farms? I lived near farms. Don't be that guy or girl. They don't even think about a group. It's a soft. I burn, I pine, I perish. So you're gonna be in the poetry group. But I love my sketchers. That's because you don't have a Prada backpack. Oh. Right, see, poor, dum dum. Forgot about it. The sisters aren't allowed to date. Uh huh. Yeah. How many fingers am I holding up? He was an abusive alcoholic misogynist who squandered half his- All right, you get one outrage for this entire classroom and then you've gotta be quiet. Is there any chance we could get Kat to take her mite off before she comes to class? Someday you're gonna get bitch slapped and I'm not gonna do a thing to stop it. I think we're definitely in the inner city kids. Anything else? Yeah, go to the office, you're pissing me off. Later! I don't know if that deserved to go to the office for She was just expressing an opinion. Undulating with desire. Although, we get to go see Alice and Danny again, which I'm not mad about. Crimson cape? <laughs> what is that music in the background? No, we've entered a different type of movie. What's another word for engorged? I'll look it up. She's like, not this again. By the way, his testicle retrieval operation went quite well. I still maintain that he kicked himself in the balls. She sent a kid to the hospital by kicking him in the balls? You wanna put money on that? Money I've got. This I'm gonna do for fun. You're in high school, shut up. I know you can be overwhelmed and you can be underwhelmed. But can you ever just be whelmed? Oh, pain. You uh, sweet young things like her own. Yeah, with anyone <laughs> but you. <laughs> what the hell did he just do? Oh no. No, 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 no. That gives me anxiety. I know how to drive a motorcycle. Oh, okay, he's fine. He's good. Are you still struggling? You're on the ground. This soundtrack is so bitchin'. Nowhere. Hey, what's this? It says Sarah Lawrence. Oh wait, those two are sisters? How did I not catch that up until now? No dating till you graduate. 
Number two. Terrible rule. No dating till you graduate. Terrible rules. That's gonna lead to so much rebellion. This morning, I delivered a set of twins to a 15-year-old girl. Do you know what she said to me? I'm a crack whore. Yikes. Close. Damn! <laughs> You seen the unwashed miscreants that go to that school? Where did you come from, Planet Loser? No, Planet Dictionary. New rule, Bianca can date when she does. That was actually pretty smart. I give you credit. Okay, Dad, now we got a movie. I like that. The deep slumber of a father whose daughters aren't out being impregnated. Oh, you had to say it like that. Oh, wait, Daddy! I gotta go. I gotta go deliver some more crack babies. <laughs> You're asking me out? That's so cute. Ah, oh, damn. That sucks, bro. Friend zone, population Joseph Gordon-Levitt. There is a bound as to why, but I'm pretty sure she's just incapable of human interaction. Plus, she's a bitch. Takes one to know one. But there are lots of guys who wouldn't mind going out with a difficult woman. There's lots of guys that like to get stepped on. <laughs> you think you could find someone that extreme? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, I can already see the wheels are turning. He's gonna get someone to date her sister. He's gonna want to date from her, but then she's gonna go after the stupid guy, and then the stupid guy's gonna hurt her, and then eventually she's gonna come back to Joseph Gordon Levitt in the end. <laughs> Boom, baby! What in the loser rejects is this group? Maybe if we were the last two people alive and there were no sheep. Are there sheep? She can't even get those losers. What have you been spewing the past two years at high school? No one will go out with her. I don't know, Switchblade might. Okay, he might even be too edgy for me. He's just literally touching the flame just because. Wait, it's all a progression. Some people just love to see the world burn. I'm only burning my half. He just instinctively drills into textbooks? What if that hadn't been there? Why have I never seen that before? Someone drawing boobs on a lunch tray table. <laughs> At least take notice of your face. <laughs> I'm gonna go enjoy my sausage. I have a dick on my face, don't I? Yes. That seems highly dangerous. I love it. <laughs> if we go to the movies, that's uh, 15 bucks. We get popcorn, that's uh... 53. 53? How much are you spending on popcorn? I can already see the wheels are turning of how complicated this could get. Everybody's starting out at a bad place in these relationships. Doesn't matter if they like each other, it's all gonna end in a lot of chaos. No, a lot more than you think. Very doubtful. You're gonna have to earn that 50 bucks. Come see, this is what I was talking about with the golf balls. Run, bogey. What? That was a 140 meter drive! You don't always have to be who they want you to be, you know. Well, then that would just make too much sense. Not at all. Oh no. Oh my god, that beautiful car. <laughs> you bitch! What the hell did you just do? My insurance does not cover PMS. <laughs> and you won't know what you want till you're 45, and even if you get it, You'll be too old to use it. Or it'll be taken away from you by a very bent over bitch. 100 bucks a date in advance. You better hope you're as smooth as you think you are, Verona. I would not pay him that because of the whole car thing. If I was him, I would have said, nah, screw you, man. Get the first date first, then we'll talk. For Bianca Stratford. What is it with this chick? She have beer-flavored nipples? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and, and he means that in a strictly non-prison movie type of way. Why would you say prison movie? If you're trying to be on his good side, why? This is gonna be some party. I'm expecting a very bitching soundtrack for this. Oh, I love that shot. That's awesome. Okay, come on camera, work it. Which one do you like better? They're the exact same. Um, she's not a Katie Lang fan. Where are they at? That thing looks so cool. It's like a big statue head looking ass. A girl's room is very personal. What, what do we explain about this whole situation right now? <laughs> Brave. Very brave. What in the hell are those two nincompoops doing here? Is this where their guy is? Does he just hang here? That cat likes pretty guys. Are you saying that Heath Ledger's ugly? Because you gotta check your eyes again. So I'm supposed to buy her some noodles and a book and sit around listening to chicks who can't play their instruments, right? Accurate. <laughs> It's already starting to happen. He's gonna slowly start falling for her, and then once he actually does, and it's gonna come out that he was getting paid the whole time. Ah, it's a tale as old as time in the bad way. 
What are those pants he's wearing? Well, these guys that know bikini kill on the raincoats, they're not bad. Damn it, he's smart, man. I appreciate it. I was watching you out there before, I've never seen you look so sexy. <laughs> Have you ever seen that episode of How I Met Your Mother when they're at the club? I'm wetting my pants! <laughs> Y'all have got to have a better way to sneak out. Should have used the window. He knew I would have said the window too. Well, if you must know, a small study group of friends. Dress like that. Otherwise known as an orgy. Wait, what? And hell is just a sauna. What? <laughs> Pathetic emptiness of their meaningless, meaningless consumer-driven consumer lives. You gotta have some variation in your content you're spewing. I want you to wear the belly. Daddy, no. The what? Oh no, oh no, this is scarring. This is asking for a teenage pregnancy. No tattoos, no piercings, no ritual animal slaughters of any kind. What have you done in your past? That I was right, that, that she didn't wear the Kenneth Coles. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, you gotta dress cooler than that, my guy. Come on, get out of the button down. Don't look at me, this is a short sleeve. You all are wearing jackets? Stop it. Now this is a party. Now remember guys, don't touch anything. <laughs> oh, get ready for your life to be ruined. Be Nigel with the Brie. <laughs> what is his smile? <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you this, but your house is gonna be destroyed. Kiss him. Okay. Good. Whoever's nearest, I guess. Fly! Oh! Ah! The parties bring out the worst in people, and I love it. It's please! They took it outside! Thank you! <laughs> what the hell are you two wearing? Um, you know Chastity? So, um... How do you not like him? Look how smoking he is. I know the other guy's a model, but look at Joseph! And we all know I look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> With a boot shoved up your ass. I'll see you around, okay? Can't roll my eyes harder at them. That is gonna be huge! <laughs> Where did he fall from? You see what I did there? Uh -huh. Oh my god, this guy makes me want to rip out my eyeballs and then shove them down my throat. What the f are you doing? Why are you doing that? What is this soundtrack? She can dance. Cameron, I'm a little busy right now. Can you give me a second? Cameron, I'm gonna promise you your problem's not worse. Joey is not half the man you are. Secondly, don't let anyone ever make you feel like you don't deserve what you want. All right, Heath, go ahead and give us a little bit of life advice. I, I see you. I see it. Oh, jeez. Girl, you're about to give me a heart attack from you almost having a concussion. Your eyes have a little green in them. And so it begins. <laughs> ah, nice. <coughs> now you gotta hold the hair back so it doesn't get in the hair. A chastity? Hey, you passed. Bitch. Why are you mad? You don't want him, obviously. Start a band? No, install car stereos. Yeah, start a band. Stories like this make me wish I was a little bit more of a delinquent back in high school. But college, oh boy, college. Be careful, kids. Maybe we should do this another time. No, 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 you're all about feminist activism. No, I'm on him on this side because if you're drunk, way too past it, gotta wait. You gotta wait for the right moment when you're both of sound mind and body. Although he's still kind of scummy because he's getting paid to do all this. Someone's gonna get a kiss and it's gonna be Joseph. Have you always been this selfish? Yes. Okay, props to her for admitting it. And then you just blow me off so that you can- Called it! Let's go, Joseph! Oh, a little bit up on that too. You can always tell when people know how to kiss, and these two, ooh. You swear to the rhythm of me, ah. Uh. Dance for me, cowgirl. Yeah, babe, what do we owe you for the table dance? Barf, barf, triple barf. But tis my heart that loves what they despise. Who in despite of you is pleased to dope. Keep going. The original rum shakers. Uncover much ground, got game by the pound. What? Out, get out. See, this is where even when she's trying to do the right thing, it doesn't even matter. That sucks. I hate it when characters start to have growth and then they just get shot down. Hey, I see that smile over there, Joseph. You're a fan of Shakespeare. More than a fan. We're involved. You're involved? What sort of time travel machine do you have? It's Macbeth, right? Right. That's all it takes? Someone quoting Shakespeare? You need a day to cool off. 
Maybe two. I don't understand why she's so mad though. I, I get he's still the bad one here, but in that scenario, he was just like not kissing her because she was under the influence, so. Not like I've got a dress anyway. I think she does. Whoa, she just went way off course with that. She could have easily, I knew it. Oh God, she hit him in the ass. <laughs> Look, you know the deal, I can't go- She doesn't even care! You, uh, you sick of, let's say, 300? Damn it, the money's too good. Once you realize that you actually like the person. I think shots like this can be either creepy or really, really cute. God, I wish I could have gone to high school in the mid-90s to early 2000s. Look, you embarrassed the girl. Sacrifice yourself on the altar of dignity and even the score. How the hell did he do that? You're just too good to be true. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> Come on, Jersey boy, sing it to me. I would have been on the floor, legs spread, Heath Ledger singing like that to me. Damn, he got the marching man with it too? Come on, baby. What the hell is he doing? I got little goosebumps. This is so cute. I've never seen this before, but I know this scene's iconic. Get performance! You got pot, don't you? I'm confiscating this. For recreational purposes. This too. Seems like he's gonna have a fun detention. Cause I've heard that steroids can severely disintegrate your package. You're gonna end up in detention. Like this! Oh, what the holy hell did she just do? Good show! I'll be back for the matinee. So how did you keep him distracted? Don't worry about it. Paintball? Oh, that sounds like so much fun. Get beside me. I want you. Why don't we have this like more often? That would be so much fun. <laughs> this movie is stupidly cute, but I'm waiting for the fallout of when she realizes that he was paying for all this. Right. Uh, Movies like this are the definition of comfort watching. And sexy. He is too smooth for his own good. So now I need to have a motive to want to be with you. Oh boy. You tell me. Oh, She's actually not wrong, though. Oh, this is getting there. Je ne sais pas. Peut-être dans ton truc de coup. I did not teach you that French. Je te sortis avec toi. Why have you not asked her out yet? Damn it, Joseph! What the hell is that? Are they gonna come dressed up like Shakespeare characters? And I know who you want to bend the rules for. It's that hot rod Joey. What's a hot rod? Don't worry about it. Kissing isn't what keeps me up to my elbows in placenta all day long. This actually is kind of interesting that he is a, like, whatever the term for the doctor is, like, delivers babies, and that he would have these sorts of opinions. I've always wondered what their thought would be on all of this in high school. Joey never told you that we went out, did he? Yeah, okay. Wait, what? That adds a whole different element to all this. I did it. Afterwards, I told him I didn't want to anymore because I wasn't ready. And he got pissed and he dumped me. So really, we all need to go kick Joey's ass. I warned him that if he told anyone, the cheerleading squad would find out how tiny his dick is. Ultimate trump card. Is it just me or does that poster she has of that band look exactly like Margot Robbie in the new Suicide Squad movie? Ah! Bye dad, I'm going to the prom. Aw, she looks so cute. Hey, look at our guy being all dapper. This is not good. I'm about to have to deliver more babies. And I want you to know. What is this soundtrack? Also, where the hell are they holding this? He is a dreamboat, but when is it gonna come out that he was getting paid this whole time? Ew, what is that tux? I'm here to pick up Bianca. Yeah, you're about 10 minutes late there, bub. Oh, you... Ew, why are you wearing that? <laughs> Did Shakespeare have hallucinations? No! <laughs> Staring contest, you and me. Whoever breaks doesn't have to tell the actual truth. Oh, I know you didn't think you were the only sophomore at the prom. Joey just picked me up. After he went and tried to get her. He even had a bet going with his friends. 
He's gonna nail you tonight. Well, you just turned into a great A bitch. I didn't pay you to take out chats. So yeah, there it is. Ugh. Oh, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna be a fly on the wall in the prom over. I love that. Go against the stereotype of the guy needing to fight up for the girl. Give me a chance. Just you were to... paid to take me out by the one. <laughs> I knew this was a setup. Yeah, yeah. Can't blame her. Sad, but I can't blame her. So tell me about this dance. Was it hopping? Was it popping? Did you lock it? And did you drop it? The part where Bianca beat the hell out of some guy. Bianca did what? That's my girl. I hate the way you talk to me and the way you cut your hair. I hate the way you drive my car. Ten things I hate about you. I hate it when you make me laugh, even worse when you make me cry. That's so sweet. But mostly I hate the way I don't hate you. Not even close. Ah, oh, screw this movie. Oh, you are kidding me. That's so sweet. I was wondering if he was gonna end up buying her a guitar. Some asshole family to take on this really great girl. Is that right? Perfect way to sum this all up. And don't just think you can... Sorry, I can't hear you over the sound of this romance. All right, so that was 10 Things I Hate About You. Oh my good God, that gave me so much nostalgia. Even though I've never seen that before, the 90s and 2000s are some of my favorite moments in movie and television history. I don't know what it is, but I just love the vibe and the music and the performances and the stories that were told back then. I think that they're just such a good classic story. I really love the romance. I really love the build up, the fall downs. I loved going against the tropes. There was so much originality in that movie. Still, you knew from the beginning that eventually she would find out about the fact that Heath Ledger's character was getting paid for taking her out and all that. But I thought that was a cute way to end it. I'm glad that they ended up together. Glad that Joseph Gordon-Levitt got the girl in the end. It's just a good, heartfelt story. I loved it. Hope you guys did too. But if you like what you saw here today and you want to see more, if you could go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button, I would truly, truly appreciate it. it really does help out the channel. Follow me by two social medias, Twitter, Instagram, both fun times, pictures, memes, what's not to like. Go check out my Patreon at patreon.com slash movies in depth for the full uncut leaked reaction to this and all other movies and TV shows covered on the channel as well, including exclusive Patreon content, so you don't want to miss out on that. And besides all of that, all 10 things I hate about you and another one.